So we sure have got some very interesting rumours released a few days ago all based around Orton Towers Resort, following a recent posting of a job opportunity on Merlin Careers website. Could Orton Towers be looking into a virtual queuing system for the 2021 season? Well that's what I'm going to explore in this video. Sources are linked below if you do want to check out the rumours for yourself. So this is what the job role says under main responsibilities. Being the point of contact for any guest inquiries or feedback regarding the virtual queuing or the resort box office operations. And to ensure all rental devices attributed to virtual queuing are well maintained, fully operational, signed in and out with any damages slash concerns reported to commercial sales manager. So could this suggest that visitors at the Orton Towers Resort will be able to use an app to reserve a time to ride an attraction or using the rental devices mentioned in the job description? Normally with these sort of queuing systems the time slots are based on roughly how long the normal queue line is. However people in the virtual queuing system are free to wander around the park, get some food or even ride another attraction that is not part of the virtual queuing system. However, they must return to the reserved ride in the time slot they reserved. However, this would not be the first time Orton Towers has introduced a virtual queuing system. Back in the early 2000s, Orton Towers actually had a virtual queuing system for Nemesis, Galactica, previously known as Air, the Black Hole, the Flume and many other rides and attractions. This service was obviously free but was later replaced with the fast track system we see and know today. So yeah, there's not a huge amount of information at the moment, but do I think that Orton Towers have put this new system in place? I personally think it's very likely. As we've seen many other theme parks do this, and I think it's the correct direction for Orton Towers to enhance guest experience. I think that this will be a slow rollout if they do introduce this new system. Like, not all coasters will have it at the beginning, and there'll just be selected few. So this is all very exciting news, please bear in mind that this information has not been confirmed by Orton Towers Resort. Alongside that, if there are any updates, I'll be sure to update you here on the Theme Park Enthusiast YouTube channel. So if you do enjoy my content, consider subscribing as we make Theme Park content every week here on the channel. With all that said and done, thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiast and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now!